hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word will get right. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. I declare from tonight that this house becomes a house of prayer and a house of power. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Power in the heavens. Power from the realm of the spirit. Praise the Lord. Please look up. Look up, everyone. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 28 that having arrived an island called Melita, the sea was boisterous, and when everyone was panicking, the angel of the Lord appeared unto Paul and told him, There shall be no loss. And the Bible says they arrived safely at an island called Melita. And while they were gathering sticks, everybody watch this. Do you know, while they were gathering sticks, there was a viper in the stick. But because of how cold the stick was, the viper could not be released. The moment they set those sticks on fire, the viper that was hiding could no longer hide. It is because your life is too cold. That's why there are certain things hiding and will not be revealed. The moment your life is set on fire through the ministry of prayer, the things that are hidden begin to be made manifest. In one minute, say in the name of Jesus, every planting that is not of the Lord in my life, as I pray, be exposed. Lift your voice and pray. Baruto Sopratos Kadala Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and I'll begin to minister. In the name of Jesus. Listen, please listen. The Bible says, the moment John, the prophet, brought Jesus out of the waters, 
it says the heavens open and the spirit of god came remember power is always after the holy ghost now when the holy ghost came on jesus he was not manifesting power yet immediately the bible says the spirit drove him to the wilderness and for 40 days he was praying and fasting and having been tempted of the devil and he overcame him in matthew chapter 4 the bible says and he returned in the power he went full of the spirit but he returned in the power and between his going and his coming the only thing we see is prayer for 40 days of generating spiritual power he returned in the power and his fame spread abroad say in the name of jesus every attack on my prayer life every attack on my spiritual life every attack on my consistency in the name of jesus be destroyed right now lift your voice and pray Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the last prayer point has to do with your destiny it says lo I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do your will listen to me the gates of your destiny will never open until you pray let me show you a mystery and then i'll begin to minister are you ready acts chapter 12 from verse 1. Hi, 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 Don't be distracted. Don't worry. You will submit your request. Hang on. We'll soon allow you to submit your request. Follow this scripture. This is the last prayer point. Now, about the time Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. Next verse. We're reading the first ten verses. He killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And when he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also then were the days of the unleavened bread except for verse 4 and when he had apprehended him watch this he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people this is the wickedness that prevails in our world the condition to be a victim of wickedness is to be born by a woman you don't have to trouble anybody just arrive here and that's it you have satisfied the condition peter therefore was kept in prison talk to me southeast but prayer but prayer not and prayer but prayer was made how long the key is not prayer the key is consistency but prayer 
was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Now watch the miracle, verse 6. And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, while Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keepers before the door of the prison, seven, my goodness, my God, behold, an angel. So there is a relationship between prayer and angel. They don't just come. They are instructed to come. The angels would have, when they killed James, where were the angels? It meant someone on earth who was not praying was authorizing darkness to continue. Are you getting what I'm saying now? The same angels were still in heaven when they were killing James. But when they caught Peter, they said, enough is enough. And they began to pray. And the angel said, now you authorize our ministry on earth. And the angel of the Lord came to him, watch this. And a light shined in prison. And he smote Peter by the side and raised him up saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off his hand. So prayer can remove chains. We are examining what prayer can do. The second thing that prayer can do is in the next verse. Please get this revelation. Next verse. And the angel said unto him, Guard thyself and bind up thy sandals. And he did. And he also cast his garment and followed him. So prayer can bring restoration. His garment, his shoes, everything had been taken away from him. Prayer did not only remove the chains. Prayer brought back the things that he lost. Number three, verse nine. Now this is where I want your eyes to be open. He went out. Prayer can bring advancement. He was in the prison and it was on account of prayer. The angel said, follow me. It's time to go forward. Now watch this. He followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel, but he thought he was in a vision. Verse 10. And when they were past what? The first and the second gates. Hold on. In this story, there are three gates to every man's destiny. From the prison, there was the first gate. He was out of the first gate, but he was not yet free. The first gate. He moved past the second gate. He was no longer in the prison, but he was not out either ways. And he came to a mysterious gate called the Iron Gate, which led to where? This is the gate that controls influence. The moment this gate opens, the city must receive your ministry. Please hear me. You can be doing ministry. You are not in prison, but you are not in the city. The iron gate is still a limitation. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. So when our father was standing here yesterday and speaking that the gates be opened, I'm sure many of you just think it's just a lot of nonsense and gibberish. These are mysteries. The Bible says the iron gate that led to the city and it opened on its own accord. You can be in Enugu for 10 years, 20 years, and you are just moving around. You are moving in the open, but in the realm of the spirit, the gate is closed. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. Every gate closing against my destiny be open now. Lift your voice and pray. Please help them. Lift your voice and pray. Be open now. Be open now. The iron gate that opens up my business. The iron gate that opens up my ministry. The iron gate that opens up my destiny.
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming after me. No wall you will kick down, lie you will tear down, coming after me. No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming after me. No wall you will kick down, lie you will tear down, coming up to me. Are you praying for your destiny? No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming up to me. No wall you will kick down, lie you will tear down. A restoration of fire for the world beyond reading one verse per day, beyond just morning devotion. You are going to declare the word of God that you know over every aspect of your life. Don't declare your problem. Don't declare what is wrong. Every scripture, no matter how little or much you know, you are going to open your mouth, place the word of God upon your destiny and leave it there. And watch the reaction that happens. Place the word of God. Is someone declare it? Gentiles, come to my light. Came to the brightness of my rising. In the name of Jesus, I arise, I shine. My light is gone. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am an eternal excellency. A joy of many generations. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm planted in the house of God. I flourish in the courts of our God. In old age, I am fat and flourishing. My gates are continually open. Never close to receive the forces of the Gentiles. My path is as a shining light that shines ever brighter, even on to the perfect day. A thousand fall by my side, ten thousand by my right side. None shall harm me. With my eyes will I see and behold the reward of the wicked. The Lord stands by me like a mighty, terrible warrior. Pray, declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. I rise up by revelation, the glory that excels, watching in my life, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I go from strength to strength, from grace to grace, from power to power, strength to strength, grace to grace, power to power. I am blessed because I fear the Lord. My seed remain mighty upon earth, the generation of the upright. In my life, I am blessed. Wealth and riches remain in my house. My righteousness endures forever. The life of God shines upon my head, shines upon my feet. Don't be tired. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Declare long life. I declare longevity. 
I declare the fullness of my day. I serve the Lord. He blesses my bread and my water. He takes sickness away from me. The fullness of my days I fulfill. Goodness and mercy follow me. Goodness and mercy follow me. Goodness and mercy follow me. No weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me falls for my sake. Are you declaring the Lord gives me a wisdom and a mouthpiece that no one can can say nor resist the wisdom of God? Is at work in my life. Savor access to the hearts of kings, access to the hearts of nobles. Don't be tired. One or two more minutes. Be glad. Speak over your finances. In the name of Jesus, I operate by the wisdom of the Spirit. I know what to do. The Lord is my shepherd. I refuse to be in one. He shall keep his angels charge over me. They bear me up on their wings. Lest I dash my feet against the stone. The Lord will deliver me from six things. In the name of Jesus, in time I will laugh. He will deliver me from the spotted things of man. Because I have a covenant with the stone. I am exalted by the Spirit of God. Exalted. The power of God is at work in me. Should be sight of and wonders in my life. Jesus is glorified. In my life, Jesus is glorified. In and through this ministry, man glorify God in me. Man glorify God in me. My life so shine before man that they see the good works of the Lord in and through my life and glorify the Father in heaven. Everything works in my hands. Nothing dies in my hands. I am in life-giving spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. For transformation by the Spirit of God, superior belief systems, superior versions of myself, in the name of Jesus, the gates of cities, the gates of nations, the gates of countries are open for me, for the sake of His name upon my life. Go ahead and pray. The anointing of the Spirit, the grace of God, is mighty upon my life. Working wonders, working wonders. The grace of God is at work in my life. In the name of Jesus, I am an exalted of the power of God, the wisdom of God, the grace of God. In the name of Jesus, supernatural influence from glory to glory by the Spirit of God. Ever loving Jesus, ever serving Jesus, ever living for Jesus. Yeah. 
changed it was written so that it will not be changed lo I come in the volume of the book as it is written many things have been written and I believe them I want you to leave this place this night not just saying I came to church I want you to leave this place this night with confident assurance it has been written concerning me and I engage it with understanding until my life becomes an effulgence of victory in the name of Jesus Christ that scheming is happening and these spirits are planning from the realm of the spirit all they hear is a sound like thunder
ah, you are there in your room, oh. you are there in your room. Listen, Jesus was not invited to hell, he entered. Oh, it's in your Bible. Nobody gave him any invitation. The Bible says he showed up, he just said it is finished. And the next thing they see him there, having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a public show of them, triumphing over them in it. Listen, one of these days, you will find yourself in a meeting where you need to settle some things. You will start praying on earth till you find yourself in the realm of the spirit. And you will see books with the names of your loved ones and you will tear them into pieces and say, this is what has kept this family bound. This is what has destroyed this family. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? Listen, the Bible says to deliver those who have been appointed unto death. A man of God once shared a testimony and I shared it here. I listened to him. He said somebody was supposed to take a flight. He missed the flight and the person was angry. He now joined a train and the train crashed. The flight too crashed. You see that these kinds of people have been appointed unto death. Whether it's bike, whether whatever the devil, there are people the devil does not want them to backslide. He wants them to die. That even in their backsliding states, they are too useful to God's program. He wants to get them out of the way. Ah, minus you, Koinonia. I said minus you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I've seen the spirit of death. Oh. I'm not just talking stories. The basis of my confidence is not my visions. It's the authority of scripture. But you cannot deny what you see. I think most believers are really, really careless. They just sit down and fold their arms. You are watching the devil destroy people. You are seeing your children become something that is it. And you are not fasting yet. You are not praying yet. You are busy trying to make money. And then the devil will use the same children and kill you. No way. Make up your mind that anything under, I'm going to be showing you the weapons to use before we pray. I won't leave you like this in limbo. I'm just showing you that God is mandating the church to rise to a heightened revelation about dominion over unclean spirits. These spirits that stand in the highway, I hope you know that a major part of accidents are caused by spirits. I have prayed for people who were driving. They were not careless. The steering locked. It, they would tell you they were not careless. They were not drunk. They were driving and the next thing, the steering locked. They tried to press the brake. It was not there. You will know that there are spirits. You must die. respect to medicine how about doctors that have made costly mistakes on patients bodies some of them were not born again and they were simply medical practitioners except that when a spirit arrived at theater he also contributed in the surgery and manipulated their hands something that should be a basis for healing now scattered the patient's body this is why we need people to be born again regardless what you do a business can, man can be on fire it's one thing to know how to buy and sell it's one thing to put a mall as big as this auditorium then one mysterious fire in the name of one wire sparking burns everything and you as intelligent as you are you actually believe that that fire was a product of a spark it's a joke god gave us brains and intents that we use them spirits are real their effect can be felt in the earth realm again let me pray for you in the name of jesus every spirit assigned to your destiny to your ministry to your family to bring shame and reproach in this end time we raise a standard by the blood 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 Listen now. 
Hallelujah. I will only say it because it's something that has been discussed. I've shared it with the workers. When we started meetings here, about a month after then, the officials here were going around this facility. And when they went outside, they saw something hanging in a leather. And they thought, who is it that just threw this thing there? And the next thing, they picked it up and brought it and it was a charm. Well concocted charm. Only God knows what the charm was supposed to do. Destroy Koinonia, destroy Apostle Joshua Selma. Even a madman does not enter fire by mistake. As, as mad as a man is, if he comes near fire, he has the sanity enough to know that fire destroys. I don't say these kinds of things with any apology. Let me tell you, the individual and the spirit that tries this ministry dies on the spot as a testimony. On the spot. And you believe I'm joking, try it so that your life will be a lesson for others. one week later on the spot listen I've seen spirits I've seen Jesus something happens to you there are things when you have seen you know how many charms this hand has held I'm not bragging I've shared with you my story people carry charms charms that are for families charms older than even my parents and I say bring it to me I know what to do you go, you are free. Just leave me and the devil. Listen, I submit to you, and I'm sorry if I sound proud, but there are God gave gifts to men. Are we together? No matter how mad, listen, we have we've been in just where there was crisis crisis if his death i would have died in zaria for years for many of you who know zaria there's no kind of crisis that has happened there that we're not there in a whole you understand what i'm saying there is a way god trains you you do not fear again anybody that plants anything around your life and if i be a man of god in the name of jesus christ beginning from this night both them and the charm, the earth will bury them. Hallelujah. Be sensitive, oh. Be sensitive about what God is doing. I just sense that God is settling. Tonight is a miracle service. God has just decided that it's a miracle service. For as long, listen, for as long as you pamper the devil and you keep quiet, you will watch him destroy your children, destroy your reputation. Listen, there are people today, by God's mandate on their life, they should not be this way, but they kept folding their arms. You know the kind of family you are coming from. It is true that victory has been wrought in Christ, but there is a responsibility component. Don't keep watching the ladies in the family go down. All your siblings have gone down. You are still watching. The gentlemen, they travel abroad and return back like failures and losers. Even those who accepted the call to ministry, you look at them and it's as if they are fake. Say, Father. Father. One more time, say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every influence, every spirit assigned to my life and to my destiny. I stand in the victory of Christ and I establish it in my life. Open your mouth in one minute and pray. Kate pakatos keta, krate kete pakatos kapranda kapareko siata. Shati pakatos kata pranda kaparu siata. Establishing victory through understanding, establishing victory by faith, 
establishing victory by spiritual intelligence. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Let me give you one more prayer point. Say, Father, every member of my family who is in bondage now, I stand as a priest, I stand as an intercessor, and I declare by the blood of Jesus, they are released now. Open your mouth and start praying. Every member, pray for your children. Pray for your spouse. Not under your watch. In the name of Jesus. By the blood, release them, release them by the blood in the name of Jesus, release them by the blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I give you one more before you sit down? Say, Father, I declare that the fullness of my days I will fulfill. Every assignment of hell to take my life before my time, to take the life of my loved ones before their time is hereby cancelled. Open your mouth and pray. The fullness of our days. The fullness of our days. This is the heritage of the saints in light. Please don't be silent. Decree that he might test be justified. In the air, protected. On land, protected. By sea, protected. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Have you noticed that in recent time over this city, there has been some demonic onslaught of people getting into vehicles? Huh? Have you had someone that it happened to? That someone just and ah, I'm angry, my spirit. Hear me. I say this as one sent by God. Any kidnapper or any driver, one chance they call it or whatever it's called, in the name of Jesus Christ, that anyone who will pick any son or daughter of Zion, may my God judge them instantly. May my God judge them instantly. May the earth fight them instantly. Listen, listen, this is what happens in a territory when the saints are lazy. You will think that these boys that are picking people and collecting phones and collect, it happens in every society, you see. But have you noticed that there are seasons where it's like a pattern? It's like a satanic grace just comes on people, either stealing, either irresponsibility. The young people are not the ones, it is a spirit taking advantage of their partnership with hell. Many families cannot have peace and all of that because of some kind of satanic thing. Anybody that nears your loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ and praying by the power of the Holy Spirit, may my God judge them. So that those who have been asleep spiritually in terms of prayer, he said, awake thou that sleepest. Awake, awake, awake. Don't just wake your mind, your spirit man. Now I'm seeing that the devil has kept me down. In the next two or three minutes, I'd like you to just find a place and pray. 
pray and generate power in the spirit go ahead and pray the fervent he says effectual prayer of the righteous man availed much someone pray david's christian center pray Pray to a more superior dimension of yourself. Pray and make decrees. Where are the watchers? The men and the women of prayer. Pray Enough is enough New season in my destiny Someone is praying Every chain that has held me The Lord rebuke you Ministry, I command that door, a father, open, Gita and Tita, Lagos, be open unto me. Pray. He bakata bakatos koto pegete, he lekete bakatos yata. Pray. Pray. Decree and declare that thou mightest be justified. Just a few minutes outside. Make sure you are praying. Those of you following online, engage in the spirit. Pray. Atmosphere shift now. Chains be broke. Break down. Holy Spirit. Climate over your ministry. Shift the climate over your family. Break the telecatoscope of Asia. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Acts chapter 12. We are praying from verse 1. My God, I sense such an anointing in this place. Acts chapter 12. Watch this. It says, now about that time, the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. Verse 2. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. Next verse. He said, and because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. These were the days of unliving bread. Verse 4. And when he had apprehended him, watch what he did to Peter. He put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending that by Easter he can bring him forth to the people. Peter can be your favor. Peter can be your next level. Peter can be your influence. Trapped and kept. But, verse 5, read with me if you are a Christian. It says, therefore, Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. Go ahead and read. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Are you ready to pray? A prayer of release. Everything that has been tied down, I decree and declare, be released right now. Go ahead and pray. Shabakatakatoskia. 
I declare jubilee, jubilee, jubilee over my destiny, jubilee over ministry, a season of the release in the name of Jesus. Outside, pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, there is a grace I'm trusting God for that will come on someone's life. Let me show you that grace. We are still on that scripture, Acts chapter 12. The Bible says verse 6, please listen carefully, that when Herod would have brought him forth the same night as he was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prisoner, uh huh? It says, Behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him and light shined in the prison. And he smote Peter by the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly. And the chains fell off from his hand. Follow carefully. And the angel said to him, Gird thyself and bind thy sandals. So he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. In response to prayer, verse 9, May God open your eyes. And he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel. He thought he was in a vision. Verse 10. He says they passed three kinds of gates. Let me teach you a mystery. There was the first gate that they passed. He was out of prison but he was not yet free. They passed a second gate. He was far from oppression. But he was not yet enjoying liberty. The Bible says they came to a mysterious gate called the iron gate that leads to the city. Your city is your place of influence. That there is a gate that the moment that gate is open, the city must hear your voice. Listen to me. I want to pray for you. And I want you to pray first. This gate you see has kept many people. That there is an iron gate that opens when that gate opens your voice must be heard there are businessmen there are sincere preachers anointed and great but the iron gate still stops their visibility are you ready to pray he said he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder you are going to open your mouth that by the blood of the lamb the gates that must open for your visibility command it to be open here and tita go ahead and pray the iron gates in ministry in business the gates of destiny that must be open so that those that were sent to your grace will know that you are there Territorial iron gates, financial iron gates, ministerial iron gates, a father be open, a father be open, a father be open. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Let me give us one last scripture. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18. Paul was speaking to the church in Thessalonica and he shared with them a very deep mystery. Please read with me if you can see it projected. Ready? One, two, read. Wherefore, we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again. Wherefore, your favor would have reached you since last year. Wherefore, it kept trying. What you are looking for has also been looking for you. But, 
Satan hindered us. The helper of your destiny, long instructed by God to come and hold your hand in ministry, but Satan. Please don't think you are wasting your time tonight. Satan, he says, I, Paul, once and again, I tried. When you pray, it's not that God did not answer. The man who would partner with the spirit to come to you, Satan hindered us. The financial helpers that would have been sent by God to make the work easy for you. It looks like God just left you destitute. But Satan, are you about to declare now? That in the name of Jesus, everything that stands as a hindrance to the helpers of your destiny and the virtues and the graces that must set you free in the name of Jesus, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Open your mouth and pray. The hindrance is gone. The Lord rebuke you. Satan, 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 the Lord rebuke you. Hallelujah. I want you to shout this loud and clear. Just have those under the anointing. Say, Father, I decree and declare that every legal access Satan has over my life, over my destiny. I invoke the blood and I declare right now causes, yokes, activities of ancestry be broken forever. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance someone is praying bring to an end don't fear the devil you have authority redeemed by the blood you have no legal hold over my life you have no legal hold the blood speaks the blood speaks the blood speaks. You have no legal hold over my life. The blood speaks. Adiga shala kata prenda kate kos. Etro kato paka kata prenda te bala kato se kata. Kaprenda ke barusa se kafia. Etro kato shkoto prenda ke baruski ata la kata. Be patient, we are almost done, but pray. This is a matter of your destiny. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Covenants of delay. Covenants of untimely death. Ah, I tell you, I sense, I sense such, such a strong anointing. We are still praying. Covenants of retrogression. Covenants of failure. By the blood of Jesus, help them. I declare, be broken now. Open your mouth and pray. Be broken. Ordinances of fathers. Tying down the destinies of God's people. Be broken. Be broken. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. Redeemed by the blood. The ransom has been paid. A peace has been made. The Father is satisfied. Sh 
Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame. Seasons of embarrassment. Seasons of retrogression. By the power of the blood. Come to an end in my life. Now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Seasons of shame. Reproach, embarrassment, come to an end in the name of Jesus. Come to an end in the name of Jesus. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. You are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration. Say in the name of Jesus. Everything that has left me that should not have left by the blood by the name by the word i call you back to my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray opportunities by the spirit of god relationships by the spirit of god resources by the spirit of god mantles by the spirit of god Restoration by the Spirit of God. 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 Restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. I know that I've stretched you a bit, but I beseech you by the mercies of God. Please be patient and let's just finish this. Say after me, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of the waster. Listen, listen. Your confessions matter. There is the spirit of a waster. It can waste life's resources. Say again, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of a waster. The spirit of untimely death the spirit of infirmity i challenge you by the blood you have no hold over my life go 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 lift your voice and pray go untimely death the waster coming as ill health the waster coming as disappointment in business the waster the lord rebuke you The spirit of the waster. Ke paraka pushko to brende ke para. Ekra katas katela katas shubrehia. Makapanda katavarata. You are caused by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny that has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens. I decree and declare, clear away for me. Lift your voice and pray. My place in life, my space in destiny. I take my place in life. I take my place in destiny. Never will it be said, Adam, where are you? I take my place.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Patterns and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus come to an end now. Open your mouth and pray. Patterns. It happened to your father. It happened to your mother. It happened to your elder brother. Now it's happening to you. Patterns. Crossed by the God of heaven, negative cycles. Every two two years, someone must die. Every six six months, someone must die. Crossed by the God of heaven. Patterns. They don't stay in marriage. Patterns. They don't give birth to children. Crossed by the God of heaven. Pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus and the word of God. I sanctify my dreams. I sanctify my visions. I sanctify my prophetic experiences. No more manipulations. No more wrong revelations. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, declare sanctification. The devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you. The devil will not manipulate you with visions, lying visions. Please pray a few more minutes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant. I curse you now. Open your mouth and pray. Please pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you, coming as a woman that sleeps with you, coming as animals, all kinds of demonic things, curse them by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now you have prayed. Let me do the praying for you. I want you to be sensitive. We have a few minutes. There is a heavy anointing here. Listen, I'm going to, as I mentioned that case, the moment you are part of it, the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end. Are we together? Now we have just about two, three minutes. When that happens, I want you to bring the people out very quickly. Ushers, we have to work together. Right now, I declare, anyone here who is a victim of causes, right now, at the count of three, any cause sitting on your head, sitting on your destiny, causes that bring delay, causes that bring failure, causes at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, let that fire come, bring them out right now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Curses, be broken now. Curses, please help them, whether you are an usher or not, help them. For sake of time. Curses, every curse powered by an altar, standing to destroy you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Very quickly, bring them out. 
curses. I'm arresting curses. Negative pronouncements. Hallelujah. Please quickly bring them. Now all of you listen to me, I'm praying. Right now, every altar connected to anyone apakanata sanika paratusia. Every altar connected to anyone's foundation that is powering negative patterns. Right now, I'm telling you, I'm seeing fire. May that fire engulf that pattern now. Altars catch fire. Oh, Apatash Koteka, bring them out. Altars catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Anatas katika tepa rakatos, eprekatos kotos seneka tepa lakatos yata, emprekati katia. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit. You are living your life, but you know this is another man's script. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. Anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you, knowingly or unknowingly, and that became the token of witchcraft, Every shrine where that thing is right now, I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic. I set it on fire now. Tokens and instruments of connection. I set it on fire. I set it on fire now. I set it on fire now. Help that woman, please. I set it on fire now. Listen, listen to me, we're wrapping up. A kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy. But Judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal. A handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy. This is the one to destroy. I'm praying again, whatever left you, knowingly or unknowingly, whatever you receive knowingly or unknowingly that is being used as a token of manipulation i pray for you koinonia by the god who called me be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now hear me everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive they sat on altars powering satan and not allowing people to move there are whole villages and territories they renew their life with young people and they remain there i call upon the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow them this moment help them please help them help them may the ground open up May the ground open and swallow them now. Bring them out, please. May the ground open and swallow them now. The spirit of poverty, of lack and hardship, all of you are graduates but no job. Everybody with master's PhD, yet nothing to write home about. Father, let fire right now from heaven. Every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of Jesus be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. Hear me. 
if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of esther you will see that by definition a date was already put to attack the jews i pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing i i pray for you now may death leave you alone we are wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of jesus i pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns the ones who open the womb they are the ones who become the the chief victims i pray for you here by the power that raised christ from the dead if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward i command it right now at the count of three may fire come upon that altar one two three take that fire now take that fire now the cause of firstborn i curse you right now the cause of firstborn i curse you right now hear me if you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family you are the first to be lifted to that level i pray for you in the name of jesus the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were in jesus name may that altar be destroyed now help them please may that altar be destroyed now Two more prayers and we're done. My goodness, fire is burning in this place. Everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit, whether it's your favor, your job, your lifting, your children, your relationships, in the name of jesus this moment by the power of the name the blood and the word i declare a release now i announce a prophetic jubilee now in the name of jesus christ final prayer please place your hand on your head prophetically your head is a sign of your glory. You will be surprised at what will happen to you now. I want to pray for you. Father, you instructed that we do this. I stand by the priestly, the apostolic and the prophetic mantle. And I pray over your people. The head of a man is a symbol of his glory. I want to pray for you. Something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of samson every spirit in the similitude of delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial delilahs ministerial delilahs career delilahs in the name of jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of samson grew back in the realm of the spirit i pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of god rest on it now rest on it now lift your voice and begin to cry to the lord in one minute but you shall receive power ebenezer the helper of men Shalabarakatos 
Shalanda Sabra Kato Sali Farashad Abrahaskabaria. Now, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were gathered together in one accord. Shalata Paruka Tapariata Kates. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Be serious. Shaparuta Sabrante Kaparuti Allah Sabara. Do Shabranda Kala Pratesa Deva Kata Shaka Teka Teka Kata Pro Soto Pariya Tabara The Making of Man The Making of Man The Consistency That Translates Relationship to Power Haruda Shalam Prakato Setelesh Kaparuda Setelesh And Prakata Kata Pakata Pro Soto Soto Pariya Kata Swallowing of Your Weaknesses Rakata paruto soto predakate, swallowing up your ignorance. Skamadanda prakatos kala predakatos as yata hasa. Skipato shaparu sate kotase data, embra koto soto parukatos a predakate, embra kato shalata predakate parukos, rakata pakato soto predakate. And the prakata kata kata prakato sapech, shakata kate rakata prato soto prakato siyasa. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Please, everyone, say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it inside and outside in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I declare. A fresh reconnection to the ministry of the Holy Ghost. Say, Holy Spirit, I desire a fresh relationship with you. Lift your voice and begin to pray. relationship with the Holy Spirit. Parado sali prakato sala pentegate, leke prakato soto prakato shiala paranda sala kosh, e prakato soto soto prakade bala prakata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we are praying. Jesus said, my house, whether it is a church building or your body, it is all his house. He said there is a name it must be called. It must be called the house of prayer. So if your body is the house of God, you prove that it is truly the house of God by turning it into a house of prayer. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare from tonight that this house becomes a house of prayer and a house of power lift your voice and begin to pray power in the heavens power from the realm of the spirit
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please look up. Look up, everyone. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 28 that having arrived an island called Melita, the sea was boisterous. And when everyone was panicking, the angel of the Lord appeared unto Paul and told him, There shall be no loss. And the Bible says they arrived safely at an island called Melita. And while they were gathering sticks, everybody watch this. Do you know, while they were gathering sticks, there was a viper in the stick. But because of how cold the stick was, the viper could not be released. The moment they set those sticks on fire, the viper that was hiding could no longer hide. It is because your life is too cold. That's why there are certain things hiding and will not be revealed. The moment your life is set on fire through the ministry of prayer, the things that are hidden begin to be made manifest. In one minute, say in the name of Jesus, every planting that is not of the Lord in my life, as I pray, be exposed. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and I'll begin to minister. In the name of Jesus listen please listen the Bible says the moment John the prophet brought Jesus out of the waters it says the heavens opened and the Spirit of God came remember power is always after the Holy Ghost now when the Holy Ghost came on Jesus he was not manifesting power yet immediately the bible says the spirit drove him to the wilderness and for 40 days he was praying and fasting and having been tempted of the devil and he overcame him in matthew chapter 4 the bible says and he returned in the power he went full of the spirit but he returned in the power and between his going and his coming the only thing we see is prayer for 40 days of generating spiritual power he returned in the power and his fame spread abroad say in the name of jesus every attack on my prayer life every attack on my spiritual life every attack on my consistency in the name of Jesus, be destroyed right now. Lift your voice and pray.
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. 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 The last prayer point has to do with your destiny. It says, Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do your will. Listen to me. The gates of your destiny will never open until you pray. Let me show you a mystery and then I'll begin to minister. Are you ready? Acts chapter 12 from verse 1. Hi, hi. Don't be distracted. Don't worry. You will submit your request. Hang on. We'll soon allow you to submit your request. Follow this scripture. This is the last prayer point. Now, about the time Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. Next verse. We're reading the first 10 verses. He killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And when he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of the unleavened bread, except for verse 4. And when he had apprehended him, watch this, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. This is the wickedness that prevails in our world. The condition to be a victim of wickedness is to be born by a woman. You don't have to trouble anybody. Just arrive here. And that's it. You have satisfied the condition. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. Talk to me, Southeast. But prayer. But prayer. Not and prayer. But prayer. Was made how long? The key is not prayer. The key is consistency. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Now watch the miracle. Verse 6. And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, while Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keep us before the door of the prison seven my goodness my god behold an angel so there is a relationship between prayer and angels they don't just come they are instructed to come the angels would have when they killed james where were the angels he meant someone on earth who was not praying was authorizing darkness to continue are you getting what I'm saying now? The same angels were still in heaven when they were killing James. But when they caught Peter, they said, enough is enough. And they began to pray. And the angel said, now you authorize our ministry on earth. And the angel of the Lord came to him. Watch this. And a light shined in prison. And he smote Peter by the side and raised him up saying, arise up quickly and his chains fell off his hand so prayer can remove chains we are examining what prayer can do the second thing that prayer can do is in the next verse please get this revelation next verse and the angel said unto him guard thyself and bind up thy sandals and he did and he also cast his garment and follow him so prayer can bring restoration his garments his shoes everything had been taken away from him prayer did not only remove the chains prayer brought back the things that he lost number three verse nine now this is where i want your eyes to be open he went out prayer can bring advancement he was in the prison 
and it was on account of prayer the angel said follow me it's time to go forward now watch this he followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel but he thought he was in a vision verse 10 and when they were past what the first and the second gates hold on in this story there are three gates to every man's destiny from the prison there was the first gate he was out of the first gate but he was not yet free the first gate he moved past the second gate he was no longer in the prison but he was not out either ways and he came to a mysterious gate called the iron gate which led to where this is the gate that controls influence the moment this gate opens the city must receive your ministry please hear me you can be doing ministry you are not in prison but you are not in the city the iron gate is still a limitation the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder so when our father was standing here yesterday and speaking that the gates be open i'm sure many of you just think it's just a lot of nonsense and gibberish these are mysteries the bible says the iron gate that led to the city and it opened on its own accord you can be in enugu for 10 years 20 years and you are just moving around you are moving in the open but in the realm of the spirit the gate is closed are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus every gate closing against my destiny be open now lift your voice and pray please help them lift your voice and pray be open now. Be open now. The iron gate that opens up my business. The iron gate that opens up my ministry. The iron gate that opens up my destiny. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. No shadow human light up, mountain human climber coming after me. No wall you will keep down, lie you will tear down, coming after me. No shadow human light up. Mountain you will climb up, coming up to me. No wall you will kick down, lie you will tear down, coming up to me. Are you praying for your destiny? No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming up to me. No wall you will kick down. A restoration of fire for the world beyond reading one verse per day, beyond just morning devotion, Hallelujah. Please look up. Prayer point number two. You are going to declare the word of God that you know over every aspect of your life. Don't declare your problem. Don't declare what is wrong. Every scripture, no matter how little or much you know, 
you are going to open your mouth, place the word of God upon your destiny and leave it there. And watch the reaction that happens. Place the word of God. Is someone declaring? Gentiles, come to my right. Kings from the brightness of my rising. In the name of Jesus, I arise, I shine. My light is come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am an eternal excellency. The joy of many generations. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm planted in the house of God. I flourish in the courts of our God. In old age, I am fat and flourishing. My gates are continually open, never closed, to receive the forces of the Gentiles. My path is as a shining light that shines ever brighter, even on to the perfect gate. A thousand four by my side, ten thousand by my right side. None shall harm me. With my eyes will I see and behold the reward of the wicked. The Lord stands by me like a mighty, terrible warrior. Pray, declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. I rise up by revelation. The glory that excels working in my life. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I go from strength to strength, from grace to grace, from power to power, strength to strength, grace to grace. I am blessed because I fear the Lord. My seed remain mighty upon earth, the generation of the upright. In my life, I am blessed. Wealth and riches remain in my house. My righteousness endures forever. The life of God shines upon my head, shines upon my feet. Don't be tired. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Declare long life. I declare longevity. I declare the fullness of my days. I serve the Lord and He blesses my bread and my water. He takes sickness away from me. The fullness of my days I fulfill. Goodness and mercy follow me. Goodness and mercy follow me. Goodness and mercy follow me. No weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me falls for my sake. Are you declaring? The Lord gives me a wisdom and a mouthpiece that no one can get saved nor resist. The wisdom of God is at work in my life. Save for access to the hearts of kings. Access to the hearts of nobles. Don't be tired. One or two more minutes. Be glad. Speak over your finances. In the name of Jesus, I operate by the wisdom of the Spirit. I know what to do. The Lord is my shepherd. I refuse to be in one. He shall keep his angels charge over me. They bear me up on their wings. Lest I dash my foot against the stone. The Lord will deliver me from six things. In the name of Jesus, in time I will laugh. He will deliver me from the spotting things of men. Because I have a covenant with the stone. I am exalted by the Spirit of God. Exalted. The power of God is at work in me. He signs and wonders over my life. 
Jesus is glorified. Jesus is glorified. In a body's ministry, man glorified God in me. Man glorified God in me. My life falls shine before men that they see the good works of the Lord in and through my life and glorify the Father in heaven. Everything works in my hands. Nothing dies in my hands. I am in life giving spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. By the Spirit of God, superior belief systems, superior versions of myself, in the name of Jesus, the gates of cities, the gates of nations, the gates of heritage are open to me for the sake of His name upon my life. Go ahead and pray. The anointing of the Spirit, the grace of God, is mightily upon my life. Walking wonders, walking wonders. The grace of God is at work in my life. In the name of Jesus, I am an exponent of the power of God, the wisdom of God, the grace of God. In the name of Jesus, supernatural influence from the glory to glory by the Spirit of God. Ever loving Jesus, ever serving Jesus, ever living for Jesus. No pronouncement, no necromancy, no enchantment with the heavens that walk over my life. I am immune by the power of the word of Yes, yes, yes. 
And I will not be silent. I will always worship you as long as, as long. It was written so that it would not be changed. It was written so that it will not be changed. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written. Many things have been written and I believe them. I want you to leave this place this night not just saying I came to church I want you to leave this place this night with confident assurance it has been written concerning me and I engage it with understanding until my life becomes an effulgence of victory in the name of Jesus Christ while all that scheming is happening and these spirits are planning from the realm of the spirit all they hear is a sound like thunder ah, you are there in your room oh. you are there in your room listen Jesus was not invited to hell. He entered. Oh, it's in your Bible. Nobody gave him any invitation. The Bible says he showed up. He just said it is finished. And the next thing they see him there, having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a public show of them, triumphing over them in it. Listen, one of these days, you will find yourself in a meeting where you need to settle some things. You will start praying on earth till you find yourself in the realm of the spirit and you will see books with the names of your loved ones and you will tear them into pieces and say this is what has kept this family bound. This is what has destroyed this family. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? Listen, the Bible says to deliver those who have been appointed unto death. A man of God once shared a testimony and I shared it here. I listened to him. He said somebody was supposed to take a flight. He missed the flight and the person was angry. He now joined a train and the train crashed. The flight too crashed. You see that these kinds of people have been appointed unto death. Whether it's bike, whether whatever the devil. There are people the devil does not want them to backslide. He wants them to die. That even in their backsliding states, they are too useful to God's program. He wants to get them out of the way. Ah, oh, minus you, Koinonia. I said minus you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I've seen the spirit of death. Oh. I'm not just talking stories. 
the basis of my confidence is not my visions it's the authority of scripture but you cannot deny what you see i think most believers are really really careless they just sit down and fold their arms you are watching the devil destroy people you are seeing your children become something that is it and you are not fasting yet you are not praying yet you are busy trying to make money and then the devil will use the same children and kill you no way make up your mind that anything under i'm going to be showing you the weapons to use before we pray i won't leave you like this in limbo i'm just showing you that God is mandating the church to rise to a heightened revelation about dominion over unclean spirits. These spirits that stand in the highway, I hope you know that a major part of accidents are caused by spirits. I have prayed for people who were driving. They were not careless. The steering locked. It, they will tell you they were not careless. They were not drunk. They were driving and the next thing the steering locked they tried to press the brake it was not there you will know that there are spirits you must die hallelujah with all due respect to medicine how about doctors that have made costly mistakes on patients bodies some of them were not born again and they were simply medical practitioners except that when a spirit arrived at theater he also contributed in the surgery and manipulated their hands something that should be a basis for healing now scattered the patient's body this is why we need people to be born again regardless what you do a business can, man can be on fire it's one thing to know how to buy and sell is one thing to put a mall as big as this auditorium then one mysterious fire in the name of one wire sparking burns everything and you as intelligent as you are you actually believe that that fire was a product of a spark it's a joke god gave us brains and intents that we use them spirits are real their effect can be felt in the earth realm again let me pray for you in the name of jesus every spirit assigned to your destiny to your ministry to your family to bring shame and reproach in this end time we raise a standard by the blood 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 Listen down. Hallelujah. I will only say it because it's something that has been discussed. I've shared it with the workers. When we started meetings here, about a month after then, the officials here were going around this facility. And when they went outside, they saw something hanging in a letter. And they thought, who is it that just threw this thing there? And the next thing, they picked it up and brought it and it was a charm. Well concocted charm. Only God knows what the charm was supposed to do. Destroy Koinonia, destroy Apostle Joshua Selma. Even a madman does not enter fire by mistake. As, as mad as a man is, if he comes near fire, he has the sanity enough to know that fire destroys. I don't say these kinds of things with any apology. Let me tell you. The individual and the spirit that tries this ministry dies on the spot as a testimony. On the spot. And you believe I'm joking. Try it so that your life will be a lesson for others. say one week later on the spot listen I have seen spirits I've seen Jesus something happens to you when there are things when you have seen you know how many charms this hand has held I'm not bragging I've shared with you my story people carry charms charms that are for families charms older than even my parents and I say bring it to me I know what to do you go, you are free. Just leave me and the devil.
listen i submit to you and i'm sorry if i sound proud but there are god gave gifts to men are we together no matter how mad listen we have we've been in just where there was crisis crisis if his death i would have died in zaria for years for many of you who know zaria there's no kind of crisis that has happened there that we're not there in a whole you understand what i'm saying there is a way god trains you you do not fear again anybody that plans anything around your life and if i be a man of god in the name of jesus christ beginning from this night both them and the charm the earth will bury them sensitive about what God is doing. I just sense that God is settling tonight is a miracle service. God has just decided that it's a miracle service. Allah For as long, listen, for as long as you pamper the devil and you keep quiet, you will watch him destroy your children, destroy your reputation. Listen, there are people today by God's mandate on their life, they should not be this way, but they kept folding their arms. You know the kind of family you are coming from. It is true that victory has been wrought in Christ, but there is a responsibility component. Don't keep watching the ladies in the family go down. All your siblings have gone down. You are still watching. The gentlemen, they travel abroad and return back like failures and losers. Even those who accepted the call to ministry, you look at them and it's as if they are fake. Say, Father. One more time, say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every influence, every spirit assigned to my life and to my destiny. I stand in the victory of Christ and I establish it in my life. Open your mouth in one minute and pray. Kate bakatos keta, krate kete bakatos ka brande ka parekos yata. Shati bakatos keta brande ka parus yata. Establishing victory through understanding, establishing victory by faith, establishing victory by spiritual intelligence. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Let me give you one more prayer point. Say, Father, every member of my family who is in bondage now, I stand as a priest, I stand as an intercessor, and I declare by the blood of Jesus. They are released now. Open your mouth and start praying. Every member, pray for your children. Pray for your spouse. Not under your watch. In the name of Jesus. By the blood, release them, release them by the blood in the name of Jesus, release them by the blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I give you one more before you sit down? Say, Father, I declare that the fullness of my days I will fulfill. Every assignment of hell to take my life before my time, to take the life of my loved ones before their time, 
is hereby cancelled. Open your mouth and pray. The fullness of our days. The fullness of our days. This is the heritage of the saints in light. Please don't be silent. Decree that he might just be justified. In the air, protected. On land, protected. By sea, protected. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Have you noticed that in recent time over this city, there has been some demonic onslaught of people getting into vehicles? Huh? Have you had someone that it happened to? That someone just and ah, I'm, I'm angry, my spirit. Hear me. I say this as one sent by God. Any kidnapper or any driver, one chance they call it or whatever it's called, in the name of Jesus Christ, that anyone who will pick any son or daughter of Zion, may my God judge them instantly. May my God judge them instantly. May the earth fight them instantly. Listen, listen, this is what happens in a territory when the saints are lazy. You will think that these boys that are picking people and collecting phones and collecting, it happens in every society, you see. But have you noticed that there are seasons where it's like a pattern, it's like a satanic grace just comes on people, either stealing, either irresponsibility. The young people are not the ones, it is a spirit taking advantage of their partnership with hell many families cannot have peace and all of that because of some kind of satanic thing anybody that nears your loved ones in the name of jesus christ i'm praying by the power of the holy spirit may my god judge them We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.